All right, guys, so I'm going to go over how to do image texturing again for anybody that wasn't here yesterday or just needs review. Um, so, again, for an image, you guys can put a texture on a, a flat uh, polygon, which is this square right here, polygon plane. You guys can put a flat texture on there and be able to scale it, and it will be perfect. Again, like I told you guys, if you make it on a cube, the cube has six faces. So if you put an image texture on that, you guys will find out that it's going to stretch the image over all six faces. So I'm just going to grab a random image. See, so the texture is going to stretch over all six frames versus if you put it on this one, Your image texture is going to be perfect. I mean, also you can still adjust it for width and depth and stuff, but you guys can see it's it's still the texture goes on it flat. So if I want to make like a ground plane of like rock, marble, wood, you guys can download any of those textures. Again, I gave you guys a link inside Canvas, so you guys can download those textures. Again, you just click on textures. Again, let's go, I'm going to go ahead and download a uh, let's see here this light wood texture. I'm going to download this. So I'm going to go download. It's going to pop up my downloads. Again, you want to put it in your folder so you know where to find it for Maya and Unity or Unreal. So again, I'm going to go to user storage. I'm going to go to my folder. You want to put all your textures under source images. It's really important you guys remember source images where, where you put your textures. I can just grab that texture. And I can drag it back into that folder and drop it. So now you guys see it says wood floor light. So... If I go into Canvas, guys, if I want to make a texture, I just right-click and hold, and I go down to Assign New Material. Again, if I want a shiny wood floor, I could use a blend. If I just want a flat wood floor, I could put Lambert. Blends, you got to be careful because it really does come off like plastic and metal, so you just got to be really careful with using that. So I'm going to go to Lambert. I'm going to go ahead and name this so I know what kind of texture this is so I can use it again. So I'm going to put wood floor. And instead of clicking on color like we normally do to make the color, we're going to replace it. So what Maya says is you click on this checkerbox to replace your color. Now Maya is asking, what are you going to replace your color with? We want to click on file because we have a file image that we downloaded. And then Maya says, where is that image? And you're going to click on this folder. Again, we're going to my computer, user storage. We're going to go to our folder. Again, under source images, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that wood floor. Now, I saw mine automatically because I had my wood, I had my texture box on, but you got to make sure you turn on your texture box. Otherwise, you're not going to see your wood floor. Now, I made my floor really big, so it, per, it looks really good, but there's going to be times where you put in an image and it doesn't look very good. And I talked about this yesterday, how to kind of re, uh, uh, realign your texture. So if you go to face mode and you select all your faces and you go to UV editor, you're going to see how your texture is aligning with your image. Now, if inside of my UV editor, I can press R for scale and I can make my texture bigger, which will make more lines of resolution detail wise on my texture. So you guys can see it, it made it even more, you know, lines or... I can go the other way and I can make the wood really huge so you, the big the piece is bigger because I made it, it more scaled. So again, you just go to uh, face mode, you just go to UV editor, and then you guys can adjust your textures on how they look. Again, you could also rotate your textures. You know, you can move them depending on where you need to line it up. But again, when I first had it, it was pretty good. But again, if I want even more resolution for my lines and make the room look even bigger, I can make my texture fit it just a little bit bigger scale-wise. And now you guys can look, and that's a pretty good wooden floor for my video game.